the galactic empire's fleet hovered at the edge of Earth's atmosphere, an armada of colossal ships casting shadows over the planet. The empire had conquered countless worlds, and Earth was nothing more than the next target in a long line of victories. From the command bridge of the flagship, the alien commander surveyed the blue and green orb below with thinly veiled contempt. Another primitive world, another quick conquest, he mused. His officers, standing around him, chuckled in agreement. Earth was no different from the countless other planets they had subjugated. It lacked the technological sophistication of the Empire, and by their scans, its defenses were laughable. Nuclear missiles, obsolete fighter jets, and scattered military outposts that posed no real threat to their advanced fleet. The invasion plan was simple. Bombard key cities from orbit, deploy ground forces to crush any remaining resistance, and within a matter of hours, the planet would fall. The commander relished the ease of it. For him, this was just another routine operation, another victory for the Empire to add to its ever-growing list. Earth was just a backwater planet on the fringe of galactic significance. Deploy the first wave, he ordered, his voice filled with smug confidence. The fleet's weapon systems came online, and a barrage of plasma fire rained down on Earth's surface. The alien officers watched with satisfaction as the powerful energy beams sliced through the atmosphere. There was no need for strategy here. Overwhelming force had always been the Empire's way. Crush the enemy before they even had a chance to react. And from the readings on their screens, Earth's meager defenses were about to crumble under the Empire's might. Humanity will fall quickly, like the rest. One officer sneered, confident in the outcome. But something was strange. There were no distress signals, no frantic human response. It was as if the planet had gone silent. The aliens assumed it was shock, paralyzed fear, or simply a sign that the humans had already accepted their fate. On Earth, however, things were not as they seemed. Deep beneath the surface, hidden from the prying eyes of the Empire, Human commanders were hard at work. Earth had been preparing for this invasion for years, ever since the first whispers of galactic empires had reached their intelligence networks. They had studied the empire's tactics, reverse-engineered alien technologies from distant skirmishes, and constructed hidden defense systems that the invaders had no way of detecting. The alien fleet saw only what the humans wanted them to see, a planet with outdated defenses and no real chance of standing against them. But this was part of the strategy. The humans knew they couldn't meet the Empire head-on with brute force. Instead, they had devised a plan that would turn the invaders' arrogance against them. As the plasma fire rained down, the alien officers waited for the first signs of destruction, for cities to collapse under the Empire's might. But then something unexpected happened. Massive energy shields, hidden beneath Earth's surface, activated in unison. The plasma bombardment, which should have wiped out entire cities in seconds, was deflected harmlessly into the atmosphere. The alien commander frowned, his confidence wavering for the first time. What is this? he demanded. How are they blocking our fire? The officers scrambled to analyze the situation, but nothing made sense. Earth was supposed to be defenseless against this level of technology. How could they have developed energy shields powerful enough to withstand a full-scale orbital bombardment? It's impossible, one of the officers stammered, his hands shaking as he reviewed the data. They shouldn't have this kind of capability. But the humans weren't done. Even as the aliens tried to make sense of what was happening, the ground beneath their troops shifted. The first wave of alien ground forces, which had already begun landing, was suddenly ambushed by highly coordinated human strikes. Hidden bases and advanced defense systems unleashed devastating counterattacks. The alien troops, who had expected to march unopposed through Earth's streets, found themselves under relentless fire from human guerrilla units. The humans moved with precision, using advanced cloaking devices and cutting-edge technology to strike from unseen positions. Alien soldiers were being picked off one by one, their advanced armor and weapons useless against the highly adaptive and unpredictable human tactics. The invaders, who had mocked the very idea of Earth putting up a fight, were now scrambling to find cover. Panic began to spread through the ranks. 
The alien commander's face twisted in anger as reports of heavy casualties came in from the surface. His troops were being outmaneuvered, outwitted, and outgunned by an enemy they had assumed would be an easy target. How is this happening? He shouted, slamming his fist on the console. They're just humans! But it was becoming increasingly clear that the humans were far from the weak and defenseless species the Empire had believed them to be. Earth had been ready for this invasion, and now the aliens were paying the price for their arrogance. The human counteroffensive didn't stop at the ground. In orbit, where the Empire's fleet had assumed dominance, human forces began to launch a second wave of attacks. Fighter jets, sleek and almost invisible to the naked eye, streaked out of hidden bases on Earth's moon and nearby outposts. These weren't the crude, outdated jets the aliens had expected. They were modified, enhanced with alien technology humanity had secretly acquired over the years. The Empire's ships, designed for large-scale planetary assaults, were ill-equipped to handle the nimble and highly maneuverable human fighters. As the human ships weaved through the alien formations, they began to pick apart the Empire's fleet with surgical precision. Energy blasts from Earth-based cannons and missiles targeted the fleet's weak points, crippling key vessels in seconds. The commander could only watch in disbelief as his ships, once considered the epitome of galactic military power, were systematically torn apart. Alarms blared across the bridge as one of the larger cruisers exploded, sending debris scattering across space. They're inside our systems, one of the officers shouted. They've hacked into our navigation. We're losing control of the fleet. It was chaos. The fleet which had arrived with overwhelming superiority, was now struggling to maintain cohesion. Every move the aliens made, the humans countered. Every strategy they tried, the humans anticipated. The commander's arrogance was gone, replaced by a growing sense of dread. This was not the simple invasion he had expected. This was a disaster. Earth wasn't just defending itself. It was fighting back with a level of sophistication and precision that the Empire had never encountered before. Pull back the ground forces. The commander ordered, his voice shaky. We need to regroup. But even as he gave the order, he knew it was too late. The humans had sprung their trap, and the Empire was caught in it. There was no turning back now. Earth had been waiting for them, and in an instant, the invaders' overconfidence had been turned against them. The fleet was in disarray. The Empire's ships, designed for large-scale planetary assaults, were struggling to adapt to the fast and unpredictable attacks launched by Earth's forces. Alien officers scrambled to make sense of the situation, barking out commands and trying to bring order to the chaos. But no matter what they did, the humans seemed to be two steps ahead. For the first time, panic began to creep into the minds of the invaders. What is happening down there? The alien commander growled, staring at the reports flashing across his console. Every data feed told the same story. The humans were fighting back in ways the Empire had never anticipated. Their ground forces, which should have been decimating Earth's defenses, were instead being systematically eliminated. Human guerrilla units, using advanced cloaking tech and terrain knowledge, were cutting down the Empire's elite soldiers as if they were nothing. The ground forces were sending frantic requests for backup. Alien battalions, once proud and confident, now found themselves fighting a ghostly enemy that struck from the shadows and vanished just as quickly. Soldiers who had landed expecting to subjugate the planet with ease were now terrified, unable to predict where the next attack would come from. Human traps, improvised explosives, and well-coordinated ambushes had turned the battlefield into a nightmare. They're targeting our command centers and cutting off our supply lines, one of the alien officers reported, his voice betraying his fear. We can't maintain control of the ground troops. They're completely scattered. The commander's face hardened. He hadn't anticipated this level of resistance. The humans were supposed to be an insignificant species, nothing more than a minor obstacle on the Empire's path to galactic dominance. But now... Their forces were being picked apart by an enemy they had grossly underestimated. He had no choice but to escalate. Deploy more troops, he ordered. Send in the second wave. Full force. Overwhelm them with numbers. 
But even as the Empire sent wave after wave of reinforcements, the humans continued to hold their ground. With every new deployment, the aliens found themselves running into more traps, more carefully laid plans that exploited their weaknesses. Human forces weren't just reacting, they were controlling the battlefield. Above the planet, things weren't any better for the Empire. The fleet, once a symbol of unstoppable power, was now faltering under the relentless attacks from Earth's hidden orbital defenses. Human fighter jets, equipped with cloaking devices, darted in and out of the alien formations, picking off ships one by one. Earth's ground-based cannons, once thought to be outdated, fired with pinpoint accuracy, crippling the larger alien vessels before they could mount an effective counterattack. They're tearing us apart, an officer muttered, staring at the debris of what used to be one of their largest cruisers. How are they doing this? The humans had adapted their technology far beyond what the Empire had expected. They had taken what little knowledge they had of alien tech and pushed it to its limits. Their ships, their defenses, their very tactics, they were all designed specifically to counter the Empire's strengths. The invaders, so used to overwhelming their enemies with sheer force, found themselves unable to keep up with the flexibility and creativity of human warfare. The alien commander clenched his jaw, feeling his control slip further away with every second. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. Earth should have fallen by now. They had the firepower, the numbers, the technology. So why were they losing? Send in the heavy artillery. He barked. Bombard their major cities. I want them wiped off the map. But even as the Empire's most powerful weapons came online, ready to rain destruction down on Earth's cities, the humans had already anticipated this move. Massive energy shields more advanced than anything the Empire had encountered, suddenly activated over key locations. The bombardment that should have reduced cities to ash was absorbed by the shields, leaving the humans untouched. The Empire's deadliest weapons had just been rendered useless. What the? An officer began, but there was no explanation. The humans had outsmarted them at every turn. The commander slammed his fist onto the console, his frustration boiling over. How are they doing this? How can they have this kind of technology? It was as if Earth had been preparing for this invasion for decades, and in truth, they had. Humanity had watched the stars, observed the rise of galactic empires, and learned from the mistakes of other conquered worlds. They knew the empire would come one day, and they had prepared accordingly. Now, they were using every ounce of that preparation to turn the tide against their would-be conquerors. The alien commander's mind raced. Every plan he had formulated was falling apart. His forces were in retreat on the ground, and his ships were being annihilated in the skies. There was no way out. The humans had backed them into a corner, and they weren't letting up. The once proud empire, conqueror of countless worlds, was now facing defeat at the hands of a species they had thought beneath their notice. Sir, we're receiving reports from the ground, an officer said his voice shaking. Our troops are abandoning their positions. They're being overrun. Overrun? The commander snapped. We are the Empire. We don't get overrun. But the truth was clear. The humans had turned the battlefield into their own personal trap, and the Empire's forces were walking right into it. Every move the aliens made was countered with brutal efficiency. Their superior technology, their numbers, none of it mattered. The humans were winning not with strength, but with strategy. We need to pull the troops back. The officer continued. If we don't, we'll lose them all. The commander's pride screamed at him to refuse. He had never ordered a retreat in his life. He had never faced an enemy that couldn't be crushed under the Empire's might. But now, as he watched his fleet disintegrate and his ground forces crumble, he realized he had no choice. Pull them back he said through gritted teeth. Regroup the forces and prepare for an orbital retreat. The officer hesitated, unsure of what he had just heard. Sir, are you? I said pull them back, the commander roared. We can't win this fight. It was an admission he had never imagined making. The Empire had never lost a battle like this. But Earth was different. The humans were different. 
They had turned what should have been an easy conquest into a nightmare, and now the invaders were paying the price. As the retreat orders were relayed, the commander stared out at the wreckage of his once great fleet. The humans had fought with a level of ingenuity and determination that the Empire had never encountered before. They had turned the very strengths of the invaders against them, and now they were poised to deliver the final blow. How could we have underestimated them so badly? The commander whispered, though no one could answer. The retreat was underway, but it was a far cry from an organized withdrawal. Alien troops on the ground were in chaos, scrambling to escape a planet that had turned into a death trap. The humans had shattered their morale, not through brute force, but through precision and relentless pressure. The commander watched the disaster unfold from the flagship's control room, his face grim. This was no longer a battle, it was survival. On the surface, the alien forces were in full retreat, but the humans weren't letting them go without punishment. The ground troops, once so confident, now found themselves cut off from their landing zones, their transports destroyed in a series of ambushes. Human forces, using knowledge of their terrain and employing advanced stealth technology, struck with devastating efficiency. There was nowhere to run. The Empire's soldiers, once feared across galaxies, were now reduced to panic survivors, desperate to find any means of escape. Sir, the ground forces are reporting massive losses, an officer stammered. The humans are targeting our escape routes, and we're losing ships left and right. The commander's jaw tightened. Then send more ships to cover them. I don't care what it takes, get our troops off that planet. But even as reinforcements were dispatched, it was clear that they were fighting a losing battle. The humans had cut the Empire's forces to pieces, severing their supply lines, disabling their communications, and sabotaging their heavy artillery. The retreating forces were exposed, vulnerable to the human attacks that seemed to come from every direction. Above the planet, the situation was just as dire. The fleet, once the pride of the Empire, was being dismantled by human forces who seemed to have mastered the art of asymmetric warfare. Earth's ships, far smaller and fewer in number, danced around the massive alien vessels, striking at their weak points with brutal precision. The humans had adapted their technology to counter the Empire's overwhelming firepower. Every missile, every beam of energy fired by the alien ships was met with a countermeasure that rendered it useless. The flagship shuddered as another blast rocked its hull. Alarms blared throughout the control room, and officers scrambled to regain control, but it was clear that things were spiraling beyond their grasp. They breached our defenses, one of the officers called out. Their ships are too fast. We can't keep up. The commander gritted his teeth. It wasn't supposed to go like this. They were the Empire, conquerors of worlds. Yet here they were, facing defeat at the hands of a species they had barely considered a threat. His mind raced through possible strategies, but none of them could reverse the disaster unfolding before him. Earth's forces had struck at the heart of the Empire's strength, its overconfidence. The humans hadn't tried to match the Empire in raw firepower. Instead, they had used cunning and misdirection, turning every strength of the Empire into a liability. Their advanced technology, which should have overwhelmed Earth, had become a weakness, exposed by human tactics that played on the invaders' rigid expectations. The commander could no longer deny the truth. His fleet was being decimated, his ground forces routed. What should have been a swift, an easy victory had turned into a humiliating defeat. But retreat wasn't just a tactical decision, it was a stain on the Empire's legacy. We can't sustain this, another officer said, his voice trembling with fear. If we don't retreat now, we'll be wiped out. The commander's eyes narrowed, filled with fury and frustration. He had never run from a battle in his life. The Empire didn't retreat, didn't back down, and certainly didn't lose to an inferior species like the humans. But the reality was unavoidable. They had walked into a trap, and now they were paying the price. Order all ships to pull back to high orbit. He finally commanded, his voice cold and controlled. We regroup, rearm, and reassess. But even as the orders went out, it was clear that the humans weren't going to let them escape easily. Human forces, 
now fully mobilized, continued their relentless assault. Fighter jets, cloaked and nearly undetectable, targeted the larger alien vessels with deadly accuracy. They hit engines, shield generators, and critical systems, disabling ships that were desperately trying to retreat. The commander watched in disbelief as one of the Empire's largest cruisers exploded, torn apart by a series of well-placed human strikes. Another ship, crippled by a barrage of missiles, drifted aimlessly before being consumed by fire. This wasn't just a defeat, it was a slaughter. Sir, we've lost control of half the fleet, the officer reported. The humans are everywhere. We can't regroup. The commander clenched his fists. How could they have underestimated Earth so badly? How could a planet so insignificant have posed such a devastating threat? His fleet was supposed to be invincible, his ground forces unstoppable. Yet here they were, being hunted down by a species that had turned their own arrogance against them. Pull all remaining forces back to the flagship, he ordered, his voice harsh. We make our stand here. The officers scrambled to relay the order, but it was clear that it was already too late. The humans had the upper hand, and they weren't about to let the Empire regroup. More human ships appeared on the tactical display, moving with a speed and precision that the Empire's lumbering vessels couldn't match. They darted in and out of the alien formations, delivering lethal strikes that crippled ships before disappearing into the void. The commander could feel the weight of failure pressing down on him. The once proud fleet of the Empire was in ruins, reduced to burning wreckage scattered across the orbit of a planet they had thought would fall in hours. His ground forces were gone, cut off and decimated by a human resistance that had fought with unparalleled ferocity. For the first time in his long career, the commander felt the sting of defeat. His officers looked to him for guidance, but he had none to give. There was no way out, no last-minute strategy that could turn the tide. The humans had won. Prepare the escape pods, he said quietly, his voice barely above a whisper. Evacuate the flagship. His officers stared at him, shocked. They had never heard their commander speak those words before. The Empire didn't retreat. The Empire didn't surrender. But here they were, facing the unthinkable. Sir, are you sure? One officer asked, hesitant. The commander's gaze was hard as he looked out over the battlefield, where his fleet burned and his soldiers died. I'm sure, he said. We've lost. There was no denying it. The Galactic Empire's invasion of Earth had failed. What should have been a swift and brutal conquest had turned into a disaster, a lesson in the dangers of arrogance and underestimation. The humans had turned the Empire's own strengths against them, and now, the invaders were paying the ultimate price. As the commander watched the last of his ships fall, he knew that this defeat would echo across the galaxy. The Empire, once thought invincible, had been brought low by a species they had mocked and dismissed. The escape pods launched from the flagship, streaking away from the burning wreckage that had once been the pride of the Galactic Empire. The commander sat in silence as the pod drifted away from the battlefield, the devastation of his once mighty fleet spreading out before him. His mind raced with the events of the past hours, struggling to comprehend how everything had gone so wrong. The humans had outmaneuvered them, outthought them, and now, the Empire's forces were in full retreat, their invasion shattered before it even truly began. The commander stared blankly at the debris field, his thoughts clouded with disbelief. They had been so sure of their superiority, so certain that this primitive planet could not stand against the most powerful military force in the galaxy. And yet here they were, defeated. Messages from the surviving officers flooded in, but he ignored them. There was nothing left to say. The fleet was in ruins, scattered and broken. The ground forces, if any remained, were lost. And the humans, those underestimated, disregarded beings, had won in a way that no one in the Empire could have predicted. The commander replayed the battle in his mind. Every move the humans made had been calculated to expose the Empire's weaknesses. Their technology, though seemingly primitive at first glance, had evolved in ways the Empire could not have anticipated. They had adapted alien tech, studied it, improved upon it, and used it to their advantage with ruthless precision. 
It wasn't brute strength that had won the day. It was ingenuity. Sir, what are your orders? The voice crackled over the comms from another officer, one of the few remaining in the fleeing pods. The commander didn't respond immediately. His mind was still grappling with the scale of their defeat. Orders? What orders could he possibly give now? There was nothing left to command, nothing left to salvage. The humans had wiped out the invasion force in a matter of hours, leaving the empire broken and humiliated. What could he say that would change that? He finally spoke, his voice heavy. Regroup at the nearest outpost. We'll, we'll need to debrief with the council. Even as the words left his mouth, he knew what that meant. The council would demand answers. They would demand to know how a backwater planet like Earth had not only repelled the Empire's invasion, but decimated their forces so completely. And there were no answers the commander could give that would satisfy them. No excuse would suffice. The truth was too bitter to speak aloud. They had underestimated humanity, and now they had paid the price. The pod jolted as it adjusted course, moving farther from the battle site. In the distance, human ships still prowled the wreckage, ensuring that no alien vessels would escape undetected. The commander watched as one of the smaller alien ships attempted to break free, only to be cut down by a series of coordinated strikes from human fighters. The precision with which they fought was unnerving. There was no room for error, no hesitation. The humans were relentless, methodical in their destruction. Sir, the council will want a full report, the voice over the comms said again, but this time with less certainty. Even the officer speaking knew that nothing in the report would make sense. How could they explain the complete failure of their invasion? How could they justify the loss of an entire fleet to a species they had dismissed as insignificant? The commander clenched his fists. The Empire had never faced such a defeat. Worlds had fallen at their feet for centuries, their enemies crushed under the weight of their military superiority. But Earth, Earth had shattered that image in an instant. The humans hadn't just fought back, they had dismantled the Empire's entire strategy. They had known the invasion was coming, had prepared for it, and when the time came, they had executed their counterattack with ruthless efficiency. The Empire's ships, designed for overwhelming planetary assaults, were no match for the fast, agile human fighters that swarmed them. Their ground forces, trained for straightforward conquest, had been torn apart by guerrilla tactics and advanced traps that rendered their superior firepower useless. How had the Empire misjudged them so badly? How had they failed to see the potential danger that Earth posed? The commander's thoughts spiraled, searching for answers, but there were none that made sense. They had walked into a trap of their own making, blinded by arrogance and assumptions. Sir, we're approaching the outpost, the officer reported. Should we prepare to transmit the battle logs? The commander felt a surge of anger at the thought. The battle logs would show their failure in stark detail. Every mistake, every misstep, every moment where the humans outmaneuvered them would be laid bare for the council to see. There would be no hiding the truth. And once the council saw it, the repercussions would be severe. The commander knew that. He knew that the blame would fall on him, that he would be the one to face the consequences of this disaster. But more than that, he knew that this defeat would have far-reaching consequences for the Empire itself. The news would spread across the galaxy. Other worlds, long oppressed by the Empire's rule, would see Earth's victory and begin to wonder if the Empire was as invincible as they claimed. Rebellions would stir. Alliances would shift. And the Empire's iron grip on the galaxy would begin to loosen. All because of Earth. The commander's fists tightened again. The humans hadn't just won a battle. They had changed the course of history. They had shown the galaxy that the Empire could be beaten, that its forces could be brought to their knees. And once that knowledge spread, there would be no going back. Transmit the logs? The commander said finally, his voice cold. Let the council see for themselves. The officer hesitated for a moment, then complied. The logs, filled with every detail of the Empire's crushing defeat, were sent to the outpost for transmission to the higher command. The commander sat back, feeling the weight of what was to come. There would be questions. There would be punishment. And perhaps, there would be war, real war, 
not just another conquest, but a battle for survival as the galaxy began to rise up against the Empire. And it had all started here. On Earth. As the escape pod moved farther away, the commander's thoughts turned to the humans once more. They had fought with a tenacity that the Empire had never encountered before. They had used every resource, every scrap of knowledge, every bit of ingenuity to turn the tide in their favor. They had adapted faster than any species the Empire had ever faced, and in doing so, they had proven themselves to be far more dangerous than anyone had ever imagined. The commander's gaze hardened as the wreckage of his fleet disappeared from view. Earth had won this battle, but it wasn't over. The Empire would regroup. They would learn from their mistakes. And when they returned, because they would return, they wouldn't make the same errors again. But in the back of his mind, a small, nagging doubt remained. Could the Empire truly overcome what Earth had done? Could they fight against an enemy that had already outsmarted them so completely? He didn't know the answer. But one thing was certain, Earth would no longer be seen as a backwater planet. It had shown its strength, and the galaxy would never forget what happened here today.